have always suffered with stilettos. It's something I just don't want to give up. Now a pain-free way to reach new heights. Put a tiny bit of Botox. It's like a pillow and a sleeping pill. Is it torture for your tootsies or a cure for your high heel blues? The News Hour, tomorrow at 6 on Global Toronto. Plus, keeping you on your toes while your favorite pair of high heels may actually be better for your feet than runners. And going to new heights for heels. I love wearing high heels because I feel fabulous. Why some women are getting Botox for a smoother stride. Smart move or fashion stumble. Do you have a love-hate relationship with your heels? I'm Nina Ree coming up on News Hour, a cure for your high heel blues. Many women have a love-hate relationship with high heels. Well, tonight, some ways to avoid the foot pain that often goes along with the shoes. Well, some say they're a girl's best friend. No, not diamonds, but high heels. And they're also the root cause of a lot of grief. Our Mina Ree looks at some rather unorthodox ways you can stay stylish without the pain. any woman who loves her heels it's a love-hate relationship at best no matter how much it hurts they just keep going back I love wearing high heels because I feel fabulous taller more confident and I think it looks it makes your silhouette look longer leaner stronger more and more women are heading to plastic surgeons to help save their souls into the ball of the foot it's a new twist to injectables typically used on the face. Dr. Mahullen pumps Voluma to add padding to the balls of the feet and Botox to freeze common muscle spasms in the plantar fascia. Wherever you see an X, we put a tiny bit of Botox, about the same amount as we'd use in the frown line. So it's like a pillow and a sleeping pill to, um, to get you through the day. The procedure costs $600 to $2,000 and can last up to two years. But as with other Botox and injectable procedures, it's not recommended for pregnant women, people with diabetes, autoimmune disorders, and other medical conditions. Canadian shoemaker Ron White has developed the first ever all-day heels collection. Poor Ron was developed by NASA for cushioning in the space shuttles. It has, it has been since used for other applications, and this is one of the applications. Even more innovative chameleon heels, which convert from flats into stilettos with a few flicks of the wrist. But with so many options, women don't have to be fashion victims anymore. Mina Ree, Global News. Yeah. Ah, to be a woman.